It's an absolutely incredible story of, of, of one man's determination <coughs> and uh, modern science and modern technology, and one woman's willpower to make them live no matter what it takes. In March of this year, we had a second miracle. My wife wasn't supposed to have children. We believed we were never going to have kids. And when I came back from visiting last year, first thing she told me when I arrived at the airport, after she said the law was pregnant, then she ran in the toilet. I was left standing there with the luggage. <laughs> and on the uh, 15th of March of this year, uh, my wife Alyssa, and she asked me to pass on with regards to you all. She's at home with, uh, with young Sydney. Gave birth to a beautiful seven pound baby girl that we named Sydney Ann Barker. And we knew my dad was ill. And we obviously wanted very much for the opportunity to have two of them meet. And you never know. It's difficult because well, this is a new baby, they have to go through a lot. And they have to get shots and all sorts of stuff. There's like a time period before they can travel. And we're really, really hoping that we would have time to make it here. And have a chance for her to meet my father. And three weeks ago, just only three weeks ago, I was here with my wife and in Sydney, and the two Sydneys got a chance to meet. Two miracles met at one place at one time, and it was an incredible moment. I was the photographs there that depict that, and my father could have been proud of. <coughs> Finally got to meet his granddaughter. And we believe that uh, he'd hung on that long through his uh, magnificent determination that he shown through his entire life. And of course, the strain in the system in his body obviously was too much, and only two weeks later he passed away. But and that sadness, a wonderful happiness is because if we'd been here two weeks later, the story would be very much different than it is today. We have a, a very happy ending to a, a very sad occasion. And I think my father would tell you that himself if he was here right now. He would take that. That's all we bit about the life of my dad, and I know many of you in different areas have known him through the bridge and the call and the work and what have you, I'm sure you all know little pieces of his life, but uh, this brings a little closure to it and it gives everybody the opportunity to know the whole story as we all know it, and that's in my words. If my dad was here today, I know he would ask you more than one thing. And in his words, he would say, take care of Rosina for me. I'm very proud of my dad. Thank you very much.